On March 8, 2025, Canada made a significant move towards bolstering its Arctic capabilities by signing a deal with Davy Shipbuilding for the construction of a heavy polar icebreaker. This landmark contract, valued at 3.25 billion Canadian dollars, is part of Canada's ongoing national shipbuilding strategy, aimed at modernizing the country's maritime fleet. The icebreaker will be assembled at Finland's Helsinki shipyard, marking a global collaboration between Canadian and Finnish maritime industries, before being delivered in Quebec for final completion. This contract is part of a larger initiative to enhance Canada's Arctic fleet. Alongside the deal with Davy, C-SPAN shipyards in Vancouver has been awarded a separate contract for another heavy polar icebreaker, showcasing Canada's commitment to strengthening its position in the Arctic region. The Polar Max class icebreaker, to be constructed by Davy Shipbuilding, is based on the ARC 148 hull designed by Acre Arctic. This vessel is not only designed for icebreaking, but will also handle emergency towing, oil spill response, and scientific research in the Arctic's harsh conditions. Measuring 138.5 meters in length and with a displacement of around 22,800 tons, the icebreaker will become one of the most powerful conventional icebreakers globally. With the construction project set to generate approximately 500 jobs in Finland, the economic benefits are expected to extend beyond Europe, fostering new partnerships and workforce exchanges between Canada and Finland. This icebreaker project is strategically aligned with Canada's broader Arctic ambitions, notably through the Icebreaker Collaboration Effort, ICE Pact, a cooperative initiative between Canada, the United States, and Finland. Formed in 2024, the ICE Pact is aimed at enhancing Arctic security and boosting icebreaker production. Although the Polar Max project is not formally part of the ICE Pact, its development directly supports the objectives of the initiative. A key outcome of the pact is the joint research and industrial development aimed at countering the growing Arctic presence of global powers such as Russia and China. Both the Davy and C-SPAN icebreakers will replace the aging Canadian Coast Guard ship, CCGS, Louis S. Estiloron, which has long been the country's primary icebreaker. C-SPAN's vessel, at 158 meters, will be constructed entirely in Canada and equipped with Polar Class II capabilities for Arctic operations as cold as minus 50 degrees Celsius. This ship will feature a high-powered propulsion system, advanced research facilities, and the ability to support helicopter operations. Scheduled for delivery in 2032, the vessel will be integral to Canada's ongoing commitment to Arctic defense and research. The Polar Icebreaker contracts represent a monumental step in Canada's quest to secure its northern territories. The country's investment in these projects reflects the importance of maintaining a continuous presence in the Arctic particularly as climate change opens up new shipping routes and increases the strategic significance of the region. The icebreakers will not only serve defense and security purposes but will also aid in environmental protection and the ongoing monitoring of scientific developments in the Arctic. With increasing geopolitical tensions in the Arctic and mounting competition from other nations, Canada's focus on modernizing its polar fleet could not come at a more crucial time. The development of these icebreakers signals a clear intention to assert Canada's Arctic sovereignty while simultaneously fostering international collaboration. The ICE Pact, which aims to produce up to 90 Arctic-capable ships within the next decade, highlights the strategic priority of icebreaker production among Canada's allies. The contract awards to both Davy and C-SPAN also reflect Canada's continued commitment to bolstering its maritime construction sector. These projects align with the broader goals of Canada's defense policy and will play a key role in ensuring that the country remains a dominant force in the Arctic for years to come. The collaboration between Canadian and Finnish shipyards not only strengthens the icebreaking fleet but also positions Canada to maintain a significant role in Arctic defense, environmental protection and scientific exploration in the face of emerging global challenges.